What is up, killers? Kev here, and today back with a brand new episode of Five New Console Mods to hit the professor on our website this week. This is going to be episode 573 within my series, but without further ado, guys, let's just jump straight into the video. Playable Skeleton Races. Become a Leech, Human, Elf, Orc, Kajik, and Argonian, coming in 175.7 megabytes of a download. This is going to be a Nexus mod support for us to enjoy, and there are so many features to do with this particular mod is absolutely insane. I'm not going to be reeling off all of them just because the whole entire video would just be this. But as a fully playable skeleton race to do with the Elf, Orc, Human, Argonian, Kajik with unique custom features and abilities. New race fully supported almost every armor within the game, shows bones instead of human skin. But some of the features that are included within this particular mod, of course, is gonna be five types of leech race for you guys to enjoy. Fully faced morph and customization support integrated within this particular mod. Two NPCs for you guys to find and enjoy. They are gonna be incredibly friendly. You can have a relationship with them as well if you do want to do that. There are gonna be custom powers and spells. They're all integrated with this particular one new race supports almost all vanilla equipment such as armor and everything else is going to work absolutely flawless with this particular mod a fully craftable set of evil lynch robes for you guys to pick up obviously that is going to be included only for those particular races you cannot use it if you are going to be any of the vanilla races a player home an alternate life add-on which is going to be listed within the bethesda website i'm not going to be showcasing in this i might actually link it next to this one if you do want a alternative shall I say start to the game that is going to be there there's also going to be adds a new starting quest for the lynches it's just absolutely insane guys this has so many customization options and so many things stuffed within it it is insane there's going to be loads of eye different presets there's going to be hair beards many unique looks horns war paints tattoos male or female there's just loads of stuff for you guys to enjoy I'm literally scratching the surface to do with the description of via reading it to you and showing you on screen too. VAR Ebony Armor only coming in a 31.4 megabytes of a download, a port from the nexusmods.com. This mod replaces the following armor set, which is going to be ebony within the base game. It overlaps that so you will not see the ebony armor. Now you will see this beautiful set you are gazing your eyes upon the screen now. Guys, there are many different versions of this sort of a set that have been added within the Bethesda Nutter website. There is going to be a standalone set of this particular one. There's going to be many different versions of this particular armor set with different names. But for this one, it is going to be replacing the ebony vanilla armor within the game. And honestly, the models, meshes, and textures are going to look absolutely fantastic. This was a plug and play mod for me. I installed it, didn't jig it around within my load order, fired up the game and it worked absolutely flawlessly. Guys, if you haven't grabbed an armor set like this or just want to dabble in, this one is going to be very lore friendly too for you guys to enjoy. Unenchanted Wedding Rings coming in at 491B of a download. Ever got sort of annoyed that one ring you choose to wear to show off that you're married has an enchantment that you may not need. This mod removes the enchantment from the ring so you can add your own enchantment to it, whatever it may be. If you're going to be wearing this significant ring for the rest of your life within Skyrim, make sure it's going to be a good one, not only for visual, but also as well practicality too. Thus, upon slaying those trolls within the game, you do want something a little bit more viable, and this gives you the option Option to choose your own enchantment to attach to that iconic ring. Walls of the North Wolf Replacer coming in at 6.5 megabytes of a download, a port from the nexusmods.com. This is going to change the wolves within the vanilla base game, absolutely all of them indeed too. So for the download size is definitely a steal if you are sort of wanting to change the aspect to do with the vanilla base game. These are going to be the Nihal Cyrodiil Wolves, but obviously they're going to be going back into the vanilla game. And as you can tell now, this is going to be a set location right next to Riverwood and they just look absolutely awesome. All of the animations are going to be the same. There's no sort of clipping, there's no sort of uh, bugging or sort of twisting between different sort of meshes or textures. They works absolutely flawless and once again it was a instant plug and play mod. No jigging around this load order, nothing that sort of implements or changes other different monsters or creatures or beasts within the load order. Obviously I would suggest if you are sort of having this one that might clash with another wolf replacer but I don't see 
see why you'd be having two. So if you are going to have one, make sure to choose this one only and just enjoy because it looks absolutely beautiful. Calgard, Sword of Sithus, coming in at 11.1 megabytes of a download, ported from the nexusmods.com with full permissions for all of us to enjoy on the Bethesda.net website. This sword is absolutely awesome personally my personal favorite is going to be two-handed just because when it is sheathed it looks absolutely gorgeous let alone when you get this blade out and start swinging it around it is absolutely gorgeous once again this one is going to be located within the ebony section to do with the forge go on there and you can pretty much pick this one up this mod is sort of like a dark brotherhood theme sword to the world of skyrim there's going to be two different variations one is going to be a one-hander and you guessed it the other one is going to be a two-hander you can throw both of these on the grindstone to upgrade them and enjoy them in their full capacity these swords are absolutely great there's loads of them to cover and loads of them out on the professional website that have been ported from the nexusmods.com and i'm very interested to dive in and show them all off to you guys this week so guys that's the end of this particular episode this has been episode 573 within my series guys if you did enjoy make sure to like the video let me know that you're enjoying these particular videos that are heading onto the channel much much more to come and to keep up and dated with everything that i do post on the channel hit that subscribe button right as well there is going to be a bell icon if you click that you will get a notification for every single time i post a bit of content to the channel but guys until the next one this has been Killer Kev here and Killer Kev out